I am so tired. Hi guys, um, it's me again, and I have some news. I got to choose my wig. Yay! Actually, I chose my wig for the second time yesterday. Let me explain to you why. Pew, 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 pew. Story time! So, I have chosen a wig about two-ish weeks ago, I think. And I chose one that looked exactly the way my hair looked um, two weeks ago, which is long as f blonde as f straight as f There goes my monetization. That's not a word. And I don't earn money here. <laughs> yeah, so I chose that wig about two weeks ago and it was hella expensive. Like, I would have had to pay about 800 bucks myself, which is a lot of money if you're a student at university and only work 30%. So um, that was gonna be interesting. I had no idea how I wanted to pay that, but I knew that a good wig was very important to me because I am actually quite attached to my hair and the thought of it falling out is scaring me shitless really. So I chose that wig and then about a week ago I cut off my hair and now it's this length and I prefer it short. So I called them and I was like hey yeah it's me you know the girl that already chose her wig um, I'd like a different one now, please. But they were very kind and understanding because it is a big deal. So they were like, yeah, sure, just come by the shop and we'll choose a new one. So I went there yesterday and um, I couldn't film in there. It's, it's a really personal experience choosing your wig. Um, you get this fancy room that is kind of like a changing room in like, I don't know, H&M. And um, they're really, really lovely people there. And then someone takes pictures of your hair so that they can match um, the hair color to the wig. And then they, or my lady brought me about, I don't know, six or seven different wigs, which you thought I might like. And then you just try them on. It's basically the same or a very similar experience. Like when you go, to H&M and shop for a hoodie or something just on your head and so I chose a wig yesterday that is very similar to my hair right now it is a little darker which is a pity but really my hair is so light I was kind of sure they wouldn't find one that is exactly my color which is completely fine and it is the same length and we're gonna make it really straight and yeah, it is <laughs> a lot cheaper. It's crazy because the one I chose first, as I said, it was very long, which of course makes it more expensive, that's for sure. And it was a 100% real hair, which is really nice because it feels good when you like run your hands through it and you can style it the way you want. Um, but it's really expensive, which I understand because a lot of work goes into a week um, and the one I chose now is a mix between real hair and fake hair basically it still feels very nice not not as soft as real hair does but it's completely fine I wouldn't have chosen it if it wasn't fine obviously and yeah it's a lot cheaper because here my insurance is only paying 1500 Swiss francs which is it's enough if you choose like a short wig with fake hair, but apart from that, you don't really get much for that money. The one I now chose costs about um, 1800, 1800 Swiss francs. So I have to pay 300 francs myself, which is completely fine. Like, I'm very good with that because 
I'll have hair afterwards, which is really important to me. I could have chosen to go with like like hats and scarves and all that stuff instead of a wig, but um, no, hair is just it's just really important to me. And yeah, so I chose my wig and I will call them as soon as my hair starts to fall out so that they can like fix it and we can um, make it perfect for me. Which leads me to my next point, that is, um, can you see that? My hair has already started to fall out. It started yesterday and it... Oh, I'll have to throw that away. Give me a second. It freaks me out. I've always lost hair when I ran my fingers through it. That's just me. Um, but now it's chunks of hair. And it's, it's, it's very scary. I'm f completely freaked out. I was hoping it would last me a little longer. It lasted two weeks. I had my first chemo uh, two weeks ago now. And yeah, my hair is falling out. And I am actually about to lose my shit. I don't know if you can tell. But I'm really, really scared. I am so scared of the day when I actually have to shave it off. I will ask a friend to do that because I don't know how to do it and I don't think I can do it by myself. I need someone to A, hold my hand, B, shave my head. That's what friends are for. <laughs> yeah, my hair has started to fall out. I will lose it. And I will get a wig. And that is freaking me out. I've said it a billion times now. But the reason that I'm so scared of losing my hair, some of you might not understand. But it's just hair. Yes. It is just hair, but it is a big part of me. And I have had some, let's call it issues in the past. I have had a very disturbed self-image, body image, however you want to call it, for the longest time. And I just recently started to love myself, to accept myself the way I am. And I was... That made me so happy. That was such a huge step for me to be like, yes, this is me and this is fine. So now I've reached that point. Like I used to be like down here, not liking myself when I look in the mirror and all these things. And now I'm like up here and I'm like, yes, this is me and it's, I'm perfect the way I am. Um, and I'm just really scared that Losing my hair is going to bring me a lot closer to this again. And I don't want to go back there. It's a dark place. So that's going to be a huge challenge for me. Learning to love myself without my hair being bald. And um, I don't know if I can do it. I'll try. There, there will be better days and worse days and all that. But... I hope getting a wig will help me, so I will update you on the whole hair situation. So in a minute you will see me either showing you how I'm losing more hair or getting my wig. And I'm very excited. For me this is a big time jump of like one or two weeks for you. I'll see you guys in a second. <sighs> this is not my hair. Hi, guys. Um, I don't know if you noticed something different about me. I do. I got my wig. This on my head right now is, um, my wig. I can spin for you. Let me spin. I got my wig today and this is what it looks like. That wasn't very smart, but then again, I'm not very smart. I got my wig today. 
yay! Um, it was actually a bit of a surprise because I thought I was going there to get my wig like fixed, like to cut it and get it all fitted and but I got there and she was like oh your hair really has started to fall out and it did it was starting to kind of ratchet <laughs> so I was planning on cutting it soon like I don't know the weekend maybe I'm just gonna show you the hair I lost from um, brushing my hair this morning it's oh that's a hair tie Yep, that is from brushing my hair once. That was all on my head. And now it's gone. Ugh, it's gross. I could make like, I don't know, a tiny dog out of that. It's really gross. So she was like, shall we cut it off today? I was like, well, okay, I guess. And she shaved my head and I got my boyfriend to film it so here you have a time lapse of me getting my head shaved Time lapse. That was me getting my head shaved. It was um, very scary actually because I didn't think it was gonna happen today. So she shaved my head. It's just a very weird sensation having a shaved head. And then she put on my wig and she showed me how I can put it on and everything. Told me what to do with it, what not to do with it. And yeah, now I have hair on my head again, which is nice. I really like it. I think it looks good. I think it looks okay. It's just so hot. I swear. It's like, I don't know, 27 degrees Celsius outside. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's very hot. Underneath this wig, it is boiling. My head feels like it's melting. But yeah, I have my wig and i um, very pleased with it. I'm very happy that we got this over with I feel good I'm still very self-conscious because I feel like well I know I'm wearing a wig so everyone else surely does which obviously they don't because you don't really see it's a wig I, I think they did a great job oh they're actually tiny baby hairs that's gonna annoy me one thing that I have to say which is a bit annoying is I can't really tie it these are too short but yeah it's okay I mean it's not like it's summer and it's super hot yay but I can go swimming with it I can do everything with it so we'll see that was my journey of losing my hair choosing a wig getting a wig shaving my head it's had a lot of ups and downs but I think the end result was worth it I'm very happy with it and if you are going through chemo right now just know that it is okay you are beautiful with or without hair with a shaved head with a head full of hair with a wig with a scarf with a hat you are beautiful no matter what I love you and yeah that is it for me for now my next video will be an update on how my first round of chemo went because I am done with that right now. So yeah, as always, stay positive, love everyone you meet and just try to be happy. It's a beautiful world out there. Love it. Bye bye! Oh yeah, wait, I have to do the thing with the hand, right? Bye! Fake hair in my eye.